Thousands of people have been evacuated from the eastern Caribbean island of St. Vincent after a volcano on Friday sent a cloud of ash and smoke high into the air. The Prime Minister said evacuees had been temporarily housed on cruise ships and on safer parts of the island. Our Central America correspondent Will Grant reports. It is an awe-inspiring, frightening sight. Captured by the islanders of St. Vincent as they fled the affected areas, huge, thick plumes of smoke and dust were sent shooting several kilometres into the air as La Soufriere unleashed its incredible explosive power. It was bright, but then the, the light began to deteriorate. And it wasn't at a slow pace, it was rapidly deteriorating. It was just darkness. And then what happened, then, this, then we began to feel something hitting your skin, ash. And as the ash filled the sky and blocked out the sun, these were the scenes as daytime on the island turned as dark as night in moments. These eruptions are rare, just a handful in 200 years. The last was some 40 years ago with no casualties and the government on St Vincent are trying hard to avoid loss of life this time too. I hereby order as follows. One, the evacuation of all premises in the areas designated as the red zone on the northeast and northwest of St Vincent and the evacuation of the area itself. To aid the evacuation order, a vessel was sent to the leeward side of the East Caribbean island. A number of large commercial cruise lines which operate in the Caribbean have also pitched in and some residents found themselves aboard ship if they didn't have safe haven with family elsewhere. This is not a drill. Disaster preparedness in the Caribbean is generally well coordinated However, a volcanic eruption of this magnitude is a challenge of a different order, especially amid a pandemic. The threat of what can happen if the evacuation doesn't go smoothly is ever-present. When La Soufriere erupted at the turn of the 20th century, 1,600 people are believed to have died. Though many on St Vincent hoped they would never live through such an eruption, the hope is now that they can ride it out safely. Will Grant, BBC News.